I'm taking these fine people. These are some of our veterans from uh, uh, Cherokee veterans for okay. minutes here. And I'm taking them on a little tour pointing out some plants. This is a plant that's used very much today. We're going to talk about bloodroot. It looks alien. It looks other terrestrial. Well, what are some traditional uses for it? It's used for dye. But no, it's not a red dye. It's, it's a orange. orangish. It also uh, has medicinal properties, uh, anti-cancer. And actually, there's not many things that'll die. River cane. River cane's one of the toughest materials to die. Yeah. Um, it takes black walnut and it takes blood root. Um, but if you don't have a strong dye, you won't get a good color on your cane. Grab some of this. I need to. Sochan, Cochani. Another one of our greens. Mm, I've heard it both ways. Most people around here actually say Cochan or Cochani. Okay. Um, but if you actually look it up, most people say Sochan, like in other areas. But everybody I've ever heard say it here, they usually say Cochan. If we were in China, this would be the, the main treatment that would be given for all cancerous diseases. This is May apple. If you take this toxic plant and eat it, huh? Oh, there's no way you can eat enough of that to hurt you. There's no way. <laughs> Medicine men will use this extensively, mm. but only those that are well trained in it because it is a fairly dangerous plant. This is green dragon. Some people might call it jack in the pulpit, but it's really green dragon. Each one of those will grow. Each one of these plants will grow. And that cluster of berries is like, it's like a, a huge pine cone. This is also an exceeding, what's considered an exceedingly important high level medicinal plant. I have been called out from a warm bed at night to have to come and get some of this root for some of our, one of our most respected elders. This is jewelweed, but jewelweed is an astringent. The entire plant is a huge astringent. So what you do is you can rub that all over you. And what it's going to do is it's going to negate the facts of the poison ivy that you have just uh, used to uh, whatever you have used it for. For those that have, uh, uh, superstitions we've all heard of keeping a buckeye in our pocket. This is the Texas buckeye tree, which only grows in very limited places in the Cherokee Nation. Buckeye was a plant that they would take the bucket, the fruit in the fall, they would smash it between rocks, make a paste out of it, and they would take it down here and they would throw it in this little stagnant water down there. All the fish would would uh, uh, suffer from uh, a high hypoxia and come up and uh, they would be easy to collect. Cherokee, I mean, Cherokee County is Bodark, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Bodark, Bodark. Bodark. From those from West would probably call it horse apple, Osage orange, uh, cow brain tree, hedge apple, but this is what the bows were made from. An extremely hard wood, it doesn't rot. The cool thing about it is no one knows where this tree comes from. No one knows where this, the native range of this tree is because it was traded extensively amongst the North American peoples prior to 1491. This is uh, shoemake, uh, sumac. You see those little red berries, the big plants with the red berries in the summertime? This is that plant. Those berries are stewed and steeped in water, hot water to produce what's called shoemake punch. Exceedingly high in vitamin C. Folks, this is a very, very important plant. When Cherokees would have, when Cherokees would have a baby, this is the plant that they would use. This is wild senna, and uh, this is a legume. As you can see, it's in the bean family. So if somebody wants to take some of this home and grow it, has a beautiful flower, you can take these beans home with you. You would use this to bless the baby to make sure that it had a calm, uh, productive life.